Leaders from the U.S. and the U.K. discuss the tragic death of Harry Dunn. Meanwhile, Peru's presidential election is coming down to the wire. Ramy Innocencio is in Hong Kong following these stories and other international headlines today. Ramy, good morning. And good evening to you from this side of the planet, Henry. That's right. The United States and the United Kingdom have long touted this uh, quote unquote special relationship, right? And now they are putting it to the test. And uh, this is with an issue that's both sensitive as well as sad between the two countries that's been boiling for nearly the past two years. Now, at the G7, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and US President Joe Biden have now said that they are quote, working together to resolve whether American and Sekula should face trial in the death of British citizen Harry Dunn. Now, the 19-year-old died nearly two years ago in the UK after Miss Sekoulis drove her car on the wrong side of the road and then hit his motorcycle. Now, she claimed diplomatic immunity, then returned to the US. The UK, though, has been trying to extradite her, but then President Trump denied the request. Mr. Johnson did say Mr. Biden was, quote, extremely sympathetic. To South America now, where Peru still does not know who its next president will be. Left-wing populist Pedro Castillo currently has 50.2% of the vote. Right-winger Keiko Fujimori has 49.8%. Now, her surname might ring a bell to some. Her father, Alberto Fujimori, was president from 1990 to the year 2000. His tenure was known for corruption and human rights abuses. And his daughter, Keiko, has been the subject of a corruption probe herself ever since 2018. In China, the Communist Party is committing, quote, crimes against humanity. That's against the Muslim Uyghurs and other minorities in Xinjiang. That is from a new 160-page report out from human rights group Amnesty International. It includes testimonies from people subjected to random detentions, mass imprisonment, torture, and internment camps for up to an estimated 1 million people since 2017. Amnesty's Secretary General said, quote, the Chinese authorities have created a dystopian hellscape on a staggering scale. Ramey, thank you.